Welcome. I'll be talking today about the two tools, Tumble and Splat, that were designed to deal with 2D occluding objects as they occur in applications such as Adobe Illustrator or PowerPoint. And, you know, the tools we have to deal with the stacks of elements and how they are organized in those layers are somewhat serial. So, this is a new approach and I hope you like it. So, I'm going to first show Tumblr. And the way you invoke Tumblr in this particular implementation, you will right-click on a group of objects that it's occluded, and you will drag the mouse down. That will spread them out in a sort of an isometric 3D perspective, where each element is showed on a particular frame. As you can see, there are four participating elements. We have a triangle, a square, a photo, and text. And each one jiggles a little bit when I'm on top of it, so as to highlight the position. Also I can move the layers about, so in this case for instance I'm moving the text to the very very top, or I can actually move it just one layer below the topmost layer, such in this case. So if I want to select the rectangle that is below, in traditional tools that will be a problem because it will just select the text. There's no way to escape that unless I redistribute everything. So again with Tumblr the operation becomes relatively simple. I can double click on the layer and then I have it. Uh, other things that Tumblr allows me to do is to organize the elements and to move them within the particular XY position on the layer uh, by just in, in, in have it being on the Tumblr state. So there it is. I can just align this triangle, for example, in the middle of this rectangle, and it looks very nice. Uh, second thing that the Tumblr produces is a series of thumbnails that identify where the objects are located in each frame. This gives me the opportunity to know if an object is to the left or to the right another object in case the perspective becomes confusing. Uh, I'm going to show another tool, the splatter now. The splatter is a complementary tool that kind of addresses the sa some of the same issues but on a different way. These objects here are being arranged on the uh, view, but not in reality on the position on the 2D space. This is just for a layout purpose. And there's a depth wheel that gives me a sense of what objects are on top of each other. The innermost ring represents the one that is at the bottom. The outermost ring represents the object that is at the very top. In this case, is the triangle. I can select an object again very simply by double clicking on it, and bingo, I have the rectangle. So I can do that again. And I got it very quickly, very easy, and somewhat intuitive. Uh, things that Splatter allows me to do as well is to change the order of the objects on the layer. So I can do that on a pairwise basis. So for instance, I can put this photo on the top of the green triangle by moving it on top of it here. If I release and go back to the normal view, there it is, it's actually occluding everything. I can actually now move the triangle back to the top of the photo. Very easy. One of the power th powerful things about uh, the splatter is that it allows me to think in terms of pairs of objects. When I'm aligning and moving objects across layers, I usually think about what object needs to be on top of what object and what object needs to be on bottom of what object. So this is much better than having to navigate through a whole series of objects that have no relevance to the task that I want to do. So I will quickly show again Tumblr to give you a sense of what it does. I can spread things. It shows me what I have in my pile. This is the ellipsis. I can move the ellipsis in the XY position over there. Or if I want to, I can actually promote the ellipsis up or down the piles. And with Splatter, I have the same facilities. I can, I can splat objects, have a sense of who is participating there without having to actually probe or search for things. Everything is expanded. I have a at a glance way of knowing who is on top of who. And then I can perform operations that allow me to put things on top of others. So in this case, this one is on top of that one. But I might as well want to put this one on top of that one, like so. Or I may want to put it 
by right clicking and dragging on the bottom of that one like so so in a brief in a nut case I mean in a nutshell this is Stumble and Splat I hope you liked it thank you